This is the cluster out of an 86 uh, Mitsubishi Starion Technica. It recently showed up at the local pick and pull, and I was thrilled to find out that it uh, had this dash in it. Of course, I grabbed it, and uh, not knowing anything about it, I don't know, you know, didn't know if it worked or anything like that. It looks really clean, and uh, no way to know what the mileage is on it without powering it up. I mean, I know now, since I've powered it up, and I'm just making this film to document it. But what I found right off was once I got it going, the thing was intermittent when you tapped on it. Uh, speedometer would cut it in and out, and uh, I know this to be I'm an electronic technician, and uh, I work on a lot of printed circuit boards with bad solder joints in it. And this lower board here, when I pulled it off, was absolutely covered. I'd say by better, better than 90% of the solder uh, joints on there were, were all cracked uh, from heat stress and uh, just from being exposed to the sun and the cool and the sun and the cool and the circuit board will expand at a different rate than the solder joints and over time they just crack out and get intermittent. So all the components are securely in place but a trained eye can look at it from a couple of feet away and see little rings around the where the component comes through the board and uh, somebody who's not familiar with this might just look right past it, but uh, I actually took some pictures as best I could while I had it in the shop, and uh, I'll try to include those along with this. But the very first thing that I found when I powered it up, I could get illumination, but it was uh, as if the computer wasn't operating. I was getting 12 volts to half of the board, and the other half was just kind of dead, so... Uh, after quite a bit of tracing, I found this plug on the bottom. There's a screw plugged in here right now. It's just a, a bi-pin connector. Had nothing plugged into it. I had 12 volts on one side, and then I had um, I had nothing on the other. And so when I jumpered this, the whole thing came to life. And uh, so I I really don't know. I might have to go back to the yard and look at the car and see what was plugged into this spot. It seems to be some sort of kill switch uh, because there's absolutely nothing that I can see that thing does other than just interrupt the power flow to the rest of the board. So I was sure to grab all the... well, I cut the ends off of the factory harness and so we've got all that and it's power this thing up. Okay, I have this thing wired up to a 12-volt power supply, and without any input from the sensors in the car itself, it goes into a self-test mode. I think it's pretty interesting. I don't have this portion of the gauge cluster illuminated, so the LCD is working in there. You have to look real close to see it, but for test purposes, it's fine. Uh, and it does give us a brief indication of the mileage that was on this car, so I'll go ahead and power it up. Does a tachometer test. running the test over here but you can't see it but this thing pops up briefly comes ready I've got 102,000 miles on it and then it resets the test so I think this is going to be a, a good uh, good candidate
recommended it for use in my car. And of course it's not intermittent anymore. So like I said the thing was riddled with bad solder joints, so I think we're good to go.